Hello, my name is Jakob Christensen and I'm a developer at Sitecore. For this part, I thought we could have a, a look at one of the controls in the Speak component library, the message bar. Uh, it's a good control because it shows off how you can work with many of the controls in the Speak control library. So the first thing we'll do is we will add a message bar to um, our layout. Here we go. And next I will add a notification to our page settings. Like that. And it has a text and some actions and a, con a closable flag and an ID. And we'll just take the ID and we will put that into the messages property of the message bar like that and then let's go back and see there we go we got the message and we can just go back and say hello world and we can make it closable there we go hello world and now we can close it so that's basically how you would set up a message bar using an item. But of course you can do this from the page code as well. And as you can see up here, we have uh, our page code. I'll just go and I will remove the link here and we'll go into our list page page code and the, the initialize, we will say this message bar one at message and we have to give it a type first and that can be gification and we can say welcome let's see if that is working it says welcome and we can change this into a warning this looks a little better i think actually there's an error as well there we go and we'll change this back to the notification. Or we can do a little bit more with this parameter. We can make that into an object. And say this is the text. This should be hello again. We can do an actions control. We'll get back to that one. And then we can say closable true. See if that is working. There we go, and it's closable. Now let's try in and, and add an action. And we'll do this will be text, and we'll do that as an alert. And we'll call this the action will be JavaScript alert. that and we need to close it off like that so let's see if that is working you got the alert here right now and it says alert so this shows how you can actually work with the message bar both using items and uh, using the page code